My name is Marion Strangfeld. I consider myself a landscape painter, but um, in many ways my landscapes are rather abstract. I also paint with Asian ink. It's called Sumi ink painting. It's a method of painting that is very simple and very direct and very, very meditative. When you're, when you're painting this in the Sumi E style, uh, the idea is mind before, brush after. So you need to think through each stroke before you make it, which is a very, very meditative process. It's very different than painting on canvas because it's very, very momentary. You, you finish a painting, you could do another one, you do another. If, if it doesn't work out, you do another. When I was teaching this to my high school kids, they would pile them on the floor, you know? They would, they would be doing 10, 20, 30 paintings in a session, as opposed to working on a canvas, which, is, which means you're gonna be working on that for a week. You, have, you invest a lot in it. These are very momentary, but they're, but they're moments of great beauty, I think. I find that carries over into my, into my oil painting as well. I often say to my students, let the brush do the work. Rather than trying to control it so much, put yourself in the motion and, and use your, your whole body to move the brush rather than just your fingertips. So uh, it helps you look at things in a more holistic way. Some of my paintings that were based on Yosemite National Park were more about the feeling that you get when you're there. One instance in particular was, uh, there's a very famous view at Yosemite Park called Tunnel View. And uh, it, it's, it's just totally breathtaking. The day we went to see Tunnel View, there had been fires nearby. You know, California has been plagued with, with a lot of wildfires in the past couple of summers. And although they were miles and miles away, so no one was in any danger, the smoke had filled the valley that morning. It almost looked like it was covered with fog, um, which was beautiful in its own way. I thought, I almost rather paint it with that smokiness in it rather than as the beautiful view that everybody sees. It was much more evocative to, to see that and to think about the, the fires that were happening and the destruction that was happening. Even though it didn't affect that place, it affected our seeing of it. My home right now for my work is the, is the Chatham Creative Arts Center. I was really lucky to, to land at the Creative Arts Center because they do offer so much for both artists and for uh, people like myself who are teachers. Um, I'm on the faculty there and I, and I teach a um, painting 101 class for uh, people who haven't painted in a really long time or people who haven't ever painted, you know. Um, it can be kind of intimidating to sign up for an art class if, if you feel like you really don't know how to begin. Everybody always thinks that the people, the person sitting next to them in class is going to be way better than they are, you know, and you feel nervous about kind of putting yourself out there a bit. So I wanted to offer classes that, that appeal to that person who hasn't, hasn't painted in a long time and, and, needs, and would like to get restarted. One thing um, I like to share with my students uh, at the Creative Arts Center, and every week I send them an email about the class and I include the art quote of the day. And one quote that really appeals to me is from a book by, uh, called Art and Fear. And it has a lot to do with being afraid to start and being afraid yeah. to put your work out there. And the quote is, to make art is to sing in the human voice. And the only voice you need is your own which is, I just think, lovely. You know, everyone, everyone, you don't have to be good at it in order to enjoy painting. We don't paint in order to get praise for it or to sell the paintings. We paint because when we're painting, it just feels good. I also, my favorite one to share with them is one that was by Grandma Moses. And she said, 
she didn't start painting until she was like 83 years old. And she said, if I hadn't started painting, I would have raised chickens. <laughs> Which I just think is a wonderful, a wonderful <laughs> sentiment. Um, so it means anybody at any age can, 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 can do this.